What's up fam? Today I'm going to be taking you through some of my pregnancy self-care. A skincare video was highly requested so I just figured I would kind of put it all together and do skincare, hygiene, all of that. First up, twice a day I use my Oral-B toothbrush, Crest 3D White toothpaste, some floss, and then I use the TheraBreath Whitening Oral Rinse. All of these have helped keep my pregnancy gingivitis down pretty well. I use this Verse Daily Brightening Solution and some sunscreen just before I go to the gym. So this is me before I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna gel my brows back and then add a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes um, just because I'm filming some workouts today and I don't wanna look tired on camera. My full skincare routine is gonna be after the gym. I use this brow gel every day. It is literally the best. It's like $3 at the drugstore. It's just amazing. Mixing these two concealers really helps me to just not look so tired. Pregnancy is really draining and sometimes it's my eyes just look puffy and I just look tired. So when I film my workouts or when I'm going to be going out in public, I just try to cover my under eyes just a little bit. And before I go to the gym, just gonna finish off with a Moisture Lock lip mask. It's cold outside and nobody wants crusty lips. During my pregnancy, I've had to switch to a natural deodorant. Honestly, they all just don't work for me anyways because I feel like pregnancy has just made me stink, but I don't know. Then I use this Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Luxe as my gym body spray. And I always take my prenatals every single day. I don't miss. This is the only prenatal I've been able to keep down and actually enjoy. So yeah, don't forget to take your prenatal. Biggest tip I can give working out while pregnant is to keep snacks with you. So now that I am almost 36 weeks pregnant, I'm focusing a lot on things that are going to encourage labor, not induce, but encourage just to make it easier. I start off with some stretches and some rolls on the yoga ball. All of this is really good to just open your hips and your pelvis up and just make labor easier. Typically when I'm doing my labor prep, I listen to some relaxing music so that I can just really be in tune with my body and gotta treat yourself, of course. So for my shower care, I use exfoliating gloves and Dr. Bronner's Rose Castile Soap. I'm very gentle with the exfoliating gloves, but I swear this has kept my skin so smooth. I have dry skin and I use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I usually do a double cleanse while I'm in the shower. I also use this Dr. Barbara Sturm face wash um, about twice a week. It's an enzyme cleanser and it's really, really good for exfoliating. When I use that, I'll use the ordinary glycolic acid. But on a day-to-day, -day, I use the Elemis resurfacing facial pads. I absolutely love these. I swear that these are what has cleared my skin up so much. Pregnancy causes a lot of hormonal changes, which can come with acne, and there's just certain acne products you cannot use during pregnancy that I was using before, so I wanted to find a good routine from the jump. And now I'm gonna apply my serums with a damp face. This rosehip oil is from Whole Foods, and it's really good for fine lines and wrinkles. And I just add that to like my problem areas, my forehead, around my mouth, around my eyes. Mm. 
Next, since it was daytime, I'm adding some vitamin C that I got from TJ Maxx and I actually love it. Following with my Glow Recipe Moisturizer. I always feel like I excessively rub my products in, but I don't know, it feels really good and I just try to do it really gently like I'm getting a facial or something. This eye serum is game changing. Shout out to the lady at Sephora who helped me find this, but look how satisfying that is. I just put one little drop on each side and the little ball roller is like cooling and it just feels so good and it's so good for de-puffing. Really good for pregnancy because I'd be looking tired like I said earlier and this really helps. Now this is my acne product that is pregnancy safe. Since I can't use my usual retinoids or tretinoin, this has been actually really, really good. Um, I just apply it to my dark spots, my acne scars, or any spots that I notice are coming up, but staying consistent with this has actually really helped. And I use the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. It came in a pack also with a nighttime moisturizer and both of these are fabulous. So I'm just gonna go in with the daytime one. I take about that much and just rub it all over my face and neck. It smells amazing and it leaves my face so hydrated. Keeping your skin hydrated is the biggest thing in pregnancy to help prevent stretch marks and to really just give you that glow. Hydration is key. And going back in with my sunscreen from before because you can't ever put on too much sunscreen. This is kind of a controversial step. I add Aquaphor to my problem areas around my mouth, eyes, and just any areas I know that will get dry. Like I said earlier, I have dry skin, so I just like to make sure I'm staying as moisturized as possible. But I do notice the Aquaphor really like locks my products in and I love it. I'm gonna be linking all of my products used in the caption. Look at that pregnancy glow. We love to see it. I recently got these eye masks from Pixie and I'm still trying them out, but so far so good. I use them at night. Now for the body yaddy yaddy, we got the Hatch Belly Oil. I've been using this my whole pregnancy and y'all see how shiny that belly is. It is just amazing. Hydration, like I said, is key. So just making sure that you're keeping your belly super moisturized is gonna really help prevent those stretch marks. And this oil is truly amazing. And then I just take some Jergens Shea Butter and go all over my body with that. And nobody tells you the further along you get in pregnancy how hard it is to just put lotion on your legs. Like, I don't think my ankles have seen lotion the past two months, honestly. <laughs> Another great self-care tip, be comfortable. And it doesn't have to be maternity clothes. These joggers are from Athleta. I just ordered a size up and look at that. They feel so good. And then I got a couple of these sweaters from Airy. But yeah, I just love to be comfortable and cozy. My two go-to perfumes, Ariana Grande Cloud and the Miss Dior. As you can see, that thing is almost gone. I need to re-up, but today I chose to go with the Cloud. This Stanley Cup has been my go-to. I literally take it with me everywhere I go. It's 40 ounces and I fill it up a couple times a day. Hydrate throughout your pregnancy, okay? Like, you need to get you a big old water bottle and keep it with you at all times. But really, because your blood volume increases, your body just needs a lot more than it did before. Thank you guys for joining me for all of my self-care routine. 
And I'm about to do one of the final and most important things that you can do is just rest. So I'm gonna take a nap. Taking care of ourselves while we're pregnant, even before and after pregnancy, is just something really important that we can do for ourselves to be our best self. So really getting into a routine of skincare and body care and just resting, drinking a lot of water, it can really make a big difference in all of your days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved making it for you and I cannot wait to continue to produce more pregnancy content and more mom content after my baby is born. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below what you liked about this video.